Well, this morning we woke up to a lot of clouds, a little bit of leftover rain in areas closer to I-49, and then this afternoon a wave of rain spreading out of Arkansas now into southeast Missouri. Still have some rumbles of thunder and pockets of heavy rainfall in Phelps County, Dent County, into Shannon County, but it is on the way out and headed toward the St. Louis area. I mean, this is sort of the surprise day, the amount of rain that we've gotten out of this. Uh, we've seen, in, at least in pockets, locally over one inch of rainfall. Areas off to the west, this was expected. Uh, heavy rainfall from southeast Kansas and in eastern Oklahoma, where a lot of spots picked up between one and three inches of overnight rain. We're finding quiet weather there. We're finding quiet weather in most of our area. We've got a warm front to the north. It's kind of sticky out there. Uh, temperature did manage to get up to 80 here in Springfield. Areas off to the west, uh, we've got a risk of severe weather heading into the overnight hours. That's where there's a lot of instability. And we're going to find instability tomorrow as a cold front arrives later in the day. Uh, that's going to be a rain trigger. Plus, we're going to find a pocket of upper level energy similar to what we saw that generated the storms in the West Plains area today. We're going to find another pocket of upper level energy moving out of Texas tonight and into our area ahead of that cold front Thursday afternoon. So with these two rain triggers, we're going to find scattered showers and thunderstorms. As far as any severe weather, not expecting anything locally overnight tonight. That stays well off to the west. On Thursday, it's going to be one of those kinds of afternoons where the storms are not going to be very organized. They're certainly going to produce lightning and pockets of heavy rainfall. Uh, and as far as the severe weather risk, I think it's rather limited, but I can't rule out a pulsy thunderstorm generating maybe uh, some locally severe hail up to quarter size or a locally strong wind gust, but it should not be widespread. Overnight tonight, mostly clear, quiet, kind of a humid night, uh, certainly not open window weather. I had to turn my AC on today. Uh, I think I'm probably going to be using it here on the over the days to come as we're going to stay in this uh, warm and sticky pattern. Uh, looking ahead to Thursday, I think for the morning hours, we're going to find a fair amount of sunshine. Should be pretty quiet. But then once we get to noon, that's the switch. Once we get to noon, we're going to find scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across the area. This is through 5 o'clock. And then as we go into the overnight hours, we'll still have that risk for at least areas of showers and thunderstorms. But the overall focus, I think, for the overnight going into Friday morning will be here closer to and south of the state line and in northern Arkansas. And with the front not cleanly moving through, we're still going to be warm and humid on Friday into the afternoon. And there could be some pop-up shower or thunderstorm activity but it should be uh, rather isolated in nature. Uh, looks like a low tonight of about 64 with an afternoon high tomorrow, ranging from the 70s west to low 80s east. Winds will be breezy out of the south. And then on Friday, it will be a bit cooler. Uh, looks like highs generally in the 70s, about 76 for a high here in Springfield. Now the weekend pattern still looks unsettled. Uh, we're going to find additional waves of upper level energy working in from southwest to northeast across the area. So I'm expecting a wave of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. That should arrive earlier in the day and then another wave of scattered showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, which will arrive later in the day, maybe afternoon into the evening. With those rounds of storms, downpours and lightning, expecting that. I really am not expecting much in the way of severe weather, but I can't rule out isolated, marginally severe hail or wind. Also, localized flooding will be a possibility given how wet it's been. And I think through the weekend, we could pick up maybe an additional one to as much as three inches of rainfall. Uh, looking ahead to next week, though, I am concerned about severe weather. Uh, we're going to have weaker wind energy in place through the weekend with a trough in the west, ending a stronger storm into the middle of the country. Wind energy will pick up over the area by Monday and Tuesday. And I think that that is going to result as a front kind of stalls in the region and that wind energy remains in place. That may result in episodes of strong to severe storms at times throughout next week. Uh, so that's uh, kind of to be determined, but that's a, a risk that I think we're looking at for next week. Uh, as far as temperatures, you can see they stay above yeah. normal through the weekend. Episodes. Episodes, plural. yeah. Yep. More than one. Okay. Bad time of